This lesson will show how to use Desmos.com to determine percentiles of a uniform distribution. A heating and air conditioning service finds the amount of time a repairman needs to fix a furnace is uniformly distributed between 1.5 and 4 hours. Because we have a uniform distribution, we can use this notation here, where 1.5 is the lowest value of x and 4 is the highest value of x. The probability density function is f of x equals 1 divided by the quantity b minus a, where b is the highest value of x and a is the lowest value of x, which gives us f of x equals 1 divided by 2.5, which can also be expressed as 2 fifths or 0 0.4. Number one, we're asked to find the 30th percentile of furnace repair times. This is the repair time that is greater than or equal to 30% of all of the repair times. If we let k equal the 30th percentile, we can express this as the probability that x is less than k is equal to 30% or 0 0.3. For the next step, let's go ahead and graph the uniform distribution using desmos.com. And then we will use the inverse CDF function to find the 30th percentile. We go to desmos.com and click graphing calculator. Next, open the Desmos keypad by clicking the show keypad button in the lower left hand corner. Click functions, click the distributions tab, then click uniform distribution. And now to graph the uniform distribution, we enter the min and max values of x, which in our case are 1.5 comma 4. Next, we adjust the window by clicking the zoom fit button on the far left. And now we have a nice graph of the uniform distribution. Next, let's click find a cumulative probability, which shades all of the area under the probability density function, which is equal to one. Right now, notice how the min is negative infinity and the max is infinity. Let's change the min to 1.5 and the max to four, which we will see will not change the area under the probability density function. So we enter 1.5 for the min and four for the max, enter. And again, it does not change the area under the probability density function. Now for the next step, we're gonna duplicate this graph by clicking the gear, then click duplicate, then click done. Let's change the second graph to blue. And now to find the 30th percentile, we go down to cell three, and we're going to use the inverse CDF function which will accumulate the area under the curve starting on the left. Click show keypad, click functions. Now we're going to click inverse CDF, click functions, click uniform distribution. Once again, enter 1.5 comma four. Right arrow, comma. And now because we're looking for the 30th percentile, we want to find the x value that gives an area under the curve of 0 0.3 starting on the left, and therefore we enter 0 0.3, enter. And notice how it gives us an x value of 2.25. To verify this is the 30th percentile, let's go back up to the uniform distribution graph here and enter a minimum of 1.5, which is already there, a maximum of 2.25, and let's make sure the area under the curve is 0 0.3 which we can see is correct. So x equals 2.25 is the 30th percentile because it's greater than or equal to 30% of all the repair times. Let's go ahead and record this. For number two, the longest 25% of furnace repair times takes at least how long? In other words, find the minimum time for the longest 25% of repair times what percentile does this represent? Well, if we let k equal the repair time we are looking for, if it's the minimum time for the longest 25% of repairs, then it's also going to be longer than 75% of the repair times, and therefore k would be the 75th percentile. And we can express this two ways. We can say the probability that x is greater than k is equal to 0 0.25, or we could also say the probability that x is less than k is equal to 0 0.75 because this repair time is the 75th percentile. And using the inverse CDF function, because it accumulates the area from the left, 
the repair time we're looking for is the 75th percentile. Let's go back to our graph. Let's go down to the inverse CDF line, and what we're going to do is change the 0 0.3 to 0 0.75, and then we'll check it graphically. So we're going to change the 0 0.3, which represents the 30th percentile, to 0 0.75 to represent the 75th percentile. Enter, and notice how it gives us an X value or a paratine of 3.375 hours. To verify this is the 75th percentile, or the minimum repair time for the longest 25% of repair times. Let's go back up to the blue uniform distribution and enter the min of 1.5. Now we'll change the max to 3.375. Notice how it does give an area to the left of 0 0.75, which does verify 3.375 hours is the 75th percentile. And we can also go back up to cell one and enter a minimum X value of 3.375, the 75th percentile, we'll leave the maximum at four, and notice how this also verifies that 25% of the longest repair times have a minimum repair time of 3.375 hours. Let's go ahead and record this. We now know the longest 25% of furnace repair times take at least 3.375 hours. I hope you found this helpful.